Welcome back to another video and welcome to this 90 rated Rule Breakers Casemiro review. Um, pretty good looking card. 100k is what I paid for this guy and uh, versus his non inform he's obviously had some pretty notable boosts, especially in that shooting department where he's got a plus 13. Plus 5 on play, pace, sorry, plus 2 on passing, plus 3 on dribbling and uh, plus 1 on defending. He did of course receive a downgrade on his physicals. So, let's talk about this card then. How is it looking? Obviously, the pace is better than the non form, but I feel like we were all hoping for, you know, a bigger boost in that pace area just to make him a bit more usable, but it is what it is. His shooting does look very good, especially from distance with that shot power and long shots. Hopefully, we'll be able to test that out in game. Passing, for the most part, does actually look quite nice despite only having 78 on his card. Um, 86 ratings for both long and short passing definitely are very welcome. Dribbling. Good reaction start of 91, in-game dribbling and agility though are certainly lacking, but defensively, he still looks like an absolute monster. 90 intercepts, 89 stand tackle, 89 slide tackle, love to see it, and even physically still, even though he's had a downgrade, he still looks very, very good in that area. Now, I feel like the chemistry style for this guy is pretty obvious. Most people are going to go for Shadow, and that's definitely understandable. Obviously, you get the most pace out of him, and you also boost his defensive stats to become pretty incredible. But because I'm going to be using him in a centre mid role, and also because I don't have a Shadow chem style in my club, I'm actually going to go with Catalyst because he's. Uh, his defensive stats are already pretty good. We obviously want the pace boost, and I just think the upgrade in the passing will also help him out a lot. So we're going to go with Catalyst. Okay, this is what we face in game number one. Very solid PL team. Samira, easy dispossession there on Sterling. Oh, it's gonna, well, actually, no, it was a good tackle from Casemiro. I thought it was going to trickle away from us. Yes, Casemiro. I had no doubt that you wouldn't win that. Okay, 1-1 one, one at the break, and we are going to switch to the 4 2 3 one just because my players just seem to be all over the place. So uh, we'll drop Casemiro a bit deeper, and uh, David Silva will obviously slot into that cam role. Well, he was already in the cam role, but I feel like in this formation he's a bit more advanced. Sadly, this game ends in a 1-1 one, one draw. Nice team. Flashback Kante is appearing everywhere at the moment. Nice tackle there from Casemiro. David Silva does well to switch play and sends Ansu Fati on his way as well. Really good ball from the Spaniard. Nice from Casemiro there. Silva, can he find the right through ball? He can, that's a good ball for Ansu Fati, who's now got a chance to put us 2-1 up and we really should be taking that opportunity. Casemiro does well to wriggle free. Puts the ball across the box, oh! Get there Casemiro, he seems so sluggish. Casemiro was all right in that game, but I won't lie, he he just feels so like slow to react to situations, and it really, really does kill him. It's very frustrating. So, a few games out of the way with Casemiro. What is the verdict? Honestly, I'm not a big fan. I'm not. For me, he felt sluggish and slow to react, and that is not what you want in a defensive midfielder. So straight off the bat, I really cannot recommend this guy. I know he obviously does have some very, very nice links within Ultimate Team, but for me personally, he just did not fit well. Like, he really, really didn't. Obviously, the shooting boost is very welcome. It really, really is. But I would definitely have much preferred a pace boost. I feel like that would have been much more beneficial to the card. Um, obviously, with the shooting boost, people might consider him as a centre mid. And I just really don't feel like he's got the dribbling ability for that. And uh, that is obviously, um, well, will be problematic for some people. But as a DM, like just defensively, He's actually very, very good. When he gets hold of a man, he's very strong in the tackle. His tackling ability is good, and he can certainly make some interceptions. He just isn't an easy player to control, and as I say, can feel a bit sluggish and slow to react at times, which uh, can certainly be quite frustrating. Also, he definitely isn't shy on joining in with attacks as well. High, high wear crits and a, a high attack position stat does mean that this guy will get forward if you allow him to do so, so you might want to apply the stay back while attacking instruction on him to avoid that, so something to note right there. But um, as I say, defend, defensively and physically, he's a monster. He really, really is, but in other areas, just not that great. Obviously, the shooting's good for a midfielder, but 
since we're using him as a DM, we don't really need to comment on that too much. Definitely does need the pace boost, so if you're going to use him, you are going to have to use something, either Hunter, Shadow, or uh, Catalyst, because he really, really does need that boost. But um, I just don't think there's much you can do for his dribbling. It's not a terrible card by any means, and I'm not meaning this to be, you know, a super negative review, but in comparison to, like, the good CDMs in the game, he just isn't as quick to react. And he certainly isn't as quick as them in general in games. So he's just not a premium option. Um, I personally would definitely rather use um, De Jong as my CDM in Ultimate Team. I just feel like he fits the meta much more. So those are my thoughts on the 90 rated Casemiro. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. Any questions, pop them down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one.